I think chances are pretty high of athletes showing support for Tibet because we are not asking them to do anything that they feel uncomfortable with. Uh, we have tried to give them a lot of options uh, by, you know, um, saying you can speak out for Tibet in an interview or in a press conference. Uh, every time you have an opportunity, uh, it, it could be inside the Olympic Village, you know, it could be outside, but every time you have an opportunity to use your free speech, because people in Tibet don't have free speech, but if you have that moment, you know, athletes are free to do what they want and free to say what they believe in, so they can take minimal risks and do these, uh, take these, you know, gestures uh, that don't necessarily pose, um, you know, have a cost, have a huge cost on their teams or nations. And now going into the Olympics, uh, we have uh, pretty high hopes to, you know, have some good surprises from athletes uh, who might make their decision right now to do something and approach us, uh, which many athletes have approached us. But at the same time, I think there are lots of athletes out there who won't necessarily approach us now or do any coordination, but will go there and be moved by uh, what they feel and what they see and might take an action uh, out of the blue.